Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Welcome, everyone. This is Steve Meisinger, your host. And today I'll be the presenter for today's uh, presentation, where I'll be talking about back to basics. We thought uh, that starting in 2010, we needed to sort of circle back, you know, get back to the basics. What is a call? What is a put? How are these options, how are these premiums derived? So we're going to have a series of webinars, eight webinars in total, uh, on the back to basics theme. The next one will be on January 27th, and it's titled, Which FX Option Strike Price to Trade? So that's going to be on January 27th, same time, 4.30 Eastern Time. Glad you're all here. And if you have any questions regarding uh, the ISC FX options, just type them in. Uh, but the format will be that I'll present for about 40, 45 minutes or so. And then I'll answer all your questions. As I said, uh, just prior to uh, turning the recorder on, we have three different groups of webinars. We're going to do the Back to Basics in 2010. We're going to continue with our guest speakers. So people like John Netto, Steve Neeson, Jack Crooks, John Person, Stefan Choi, Jason Ayers, Mike Tussaud, John Yeagerson. The market dies, and we have so many guests, uh, and they all bring you know different talents. So please continue to join us with that. We have the back to basics, and we also have a new one, Trading Central, which makes uh, the FX options recommendations. They will be on the ISC webinar series, and that's going to be early mornings. The next, the first one, next Thursday. The next Thursday. FX Options Analyst Forecast, January 14th, 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. So it's early. Uh, they are from France, though, so it's 4 o'clock their time. So I'm going to get started. And again, a couple other things. We have an, our, uh, a new website, fxoptions.com. Go and check it out. Uh, there's uh, tons of new things that we're adding each and every day. Uh, please go and check it out. We will uh, be uh, going to be sponsoring a trading contest very, 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 very soon. Uh, we have lots of other tools there, so please check that out. And if you have any questions, you can always e email me at smeisinger at isc.com or ask the experts. If you want to learn more about options, you can always go to optionseducation.org. Any of the examples right, that I talk about today not include taxes, margin, or commissions. All that, all those factors are very, very important. I'm not making any trade trading recommendations. Well, let me go through a couple of charts. And these uh, charts are either from LiveVol or another site called Chart.nu. Uh, but what's interesting is that depending on how you look at the market, whether you're a technician, you're a, a fundamental. Uh, Analyst, whatever you do, however you look at it, uh, the options provide you the ability to have your view of the U.S. dollar. And the dollar had a wild run over the last two years. So here we're looking at a, a year chart in the U.S. dollar Canadian, and that symbol is CDD. So you'll see a, a pretty significant sell-off January through, let's say, September, October, and a stabilization. Trading Central made a recommendation today. They thought the dollar might actually rally. So you can go and uh, sign up for those trade alerts if you believe that uh, that would be something that could help you. Here's a, and I believe when I, when I look at charts, I actually look at it a couple different time frames. So that was the, initially we looked at the daily. This is uh, the weekly. So this is quite interesting for those of you that are uh, technically oriented. You'll see a huge breakout last October or a year ago, October, I should say. And then uh, 
I guess we saw the dollar, the dollar against the Canadian rally all the way up to about a dollar thirty-ish, and then it uh, sold off from there, and back to where almost where it started from. We see that if you believe in candlesticks, and Steve Nissan will be talking about this on uh, January twelfth. He, if he was here, he'd be talking about, and I'll show you this. You could ask him the question, but. Uh, this I think he would call a hammer, and you might want to ask him this next Tuesday. And that was a pretty bullish pattern way back when. Uh, if he caught that, it was a nice rally up from, let's say, 91, 92, all the way up to 100. And then, of course, we rallied up to 130. Now we're back down to around 103-ish. Dollar against the euro, and that symbol the EUU. Of course, the dollar has been taking a beating, so euro has been rallying. And there's a short-term chart here. Longer term, you'll see sort of more of the same. The idea that the dollar, when you see a trend like this, this is the euro is the base currency. So this is a euro base. And you're seeing a pretty major rally over the last year, year and a half. But now, what are we trading? We're trading the future. So do you believe it's going to go up? If you do, you might want to buy some calls, and if you believe it's going down, some puts. And that's the weekly chart. <clears throat> Another popular one is the dollar against the Japanese yen, symbol YUK. And I think all of you know that the dollar has been weak against the yen. So uh, if you had bought some puts in yuck way back when, you would have done really well. Falls, you wouldn't have done as well. And you see, this is a the weekly chart, in my mind, helps me understand the trends here, I guess it's pretty similar, but I like to look at the weekly first and then maybe move to the daily. Uh, you'll see that um, we're in, a, I guess, a, a bit of a rally. The dollar is rallying against the yen. Uh, how long will it last? Who knows? And again, our, the last rally topped out around 101, 102. Of course, we sold all the way down to about 85. Just uh, These are weekly candlesticks, so about five or six weeks ago. <clears throat> On to the Australian. Australian against the U.S. dollar, and uh, for many that follow the FX market, you'll know that this is one that uh, that everyone looks at. It's the Australian dollar. People that believe in the commodities, they want to buy the Australian dollar since it's a commodity-based uh, economy. So the dollar, yeah, the Australian dollar, has been rallying significantly. It sold off in mid-December, but what a rally! So take a look at this one. This is really amazing that you saw. Here, the sell-off. Now, I'm not saying you could have picked that actual high, but you know, at some point in here, you saw that the Aussie was getting weak, and it might continue to weaken. <clears throat> and it, of course, it lasted for a long period of time. And then I find that some of these trends last much longer in the FX market than in the equity market. So we saw the sell-off, and then the rally that started let's say in March last year, there's just been a complete blast off, uh, Australian dollar versus the US dollar. Now, we're in sort of this flag uh, motion or where we see this flag that's formed. Uh, what does it mean? Well, some would say that, that you know it's just waiting for another move. We'll see. Uh, but option theory says it's just as likely to move up. Has moved down, so the, the weekly candlesticks at least help me understand where the trend is, and I think you'll you'd all agree that at least the, the trend in the past has been positive for the Australian dollar, weak for the U.S. dollar, and we'll see. Some are, rec are predicting that the Australian dollar is going to go to parity against the U.S. Of course, others are predicting more of a demise and back down to 75 or 80 cents, and we'll see. <clears throat> but you can trade your view right through your equity options broker. Here's the Great British Pound against the US dollar. Uh, and the dollar has actually been rallying in the daily chart. And that's the symbol there is GBP. And I, I didn't mention that the symbol of the Australian is AUM. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise. <laughs>